in today's video we're gonna make homemade eggnog it ended up being delicious um my husband didn't want it with alcohol so i made it without alcohol but i will let you guys know when you can incorporate the alcohol into it um but it came out delicious and it was yeah it was really good i didn't think it was gonna be so good um it did take about two hours to make and three hours three hours in the refrigerator after so keep that in mind if you want it you know to wait later on in the day for the next day probably easier anyways let's go ahead and get into the video happy holidays all right go ahead and grab your ingredients and if you are going to add alcohol i prefer bacardi all right grab two separate rolls and i'm going to separate the egg yolks and egg whites i'm going to use my kitchen aid today you don't have to you can just use a whisk or you could use a hand mixer All right, once everything is separated to the egg yolks, you're going to add one cup of sugar and you're going to continue blending it until it turns a light yellow. All right, into your stovetop, you're going to add two cups of whole milk, one cup of heavy whipping cream, one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, one four teaspoon of ground cloves you could always add more if you feel like it needs a little bit more i did later on but i didn't show it go ahead and give that a mix and then you're going to add a pinch of salt continue mixing it on low heat i also added half a teaspoon of vanilla extract now slowly add a little bit of the milk to your egg yolks and continue mixing you're going to go ahead and add the rest of the egg yolks to the milk and you're going to keep it on low and continue to mix until it reaches 170 degrees. While that continues to warm up, I'm going to go ahead and beat the egg whites, slightly adding one half cup of sugar until it is nice and foamy like whipped cream. Again, keep it on low and keep checking the temperature until it is 170, at least, between 170 and 180. Once you reach the temperature, go ahead and turn off your stove top, and you could go ahead and add your liquor of choice, about half a cup to one cup. This is also personal preference, but I am straining it to make sure there's not a lot of like big chunks of anything in there. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and start adding the egg whites to the rest of the mixture. I'm doing it slowly. It doesn't need to be folded in. I know a lot of people fold it in. I don't feel like that's necessary. It causes more work and my arms start hurting. So I just use a whisk in until it is nice and completely smooth. You can leave it in the bowl that you mixed it in. Um, I'm personally just going to go ahead and put it in a nice container. Um, and I am going to cover it with a plastic wrap. And I'm going to refrigerate it for at least two to three hours or overnight. That's your preference. I actually didn't serve it until six hours later. Keep in mind it is overflowing now, but it's going to be about half of it later when we take it out.
All right, now it is time to serve. As you can see, it is halfway done. You're going to go ahead and give it a really, really good whisk to combine all the ingredients together again. And then to serve, you could go ahead and top it off with either cinnamon, nutmeg, or even a cinnamon stick. That is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Happy holidays, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.